This is our electric mower, which is part of the larger Amiga robot. It is controlled by a microcontroller to be activated at particular times. And the Amiga would move from waypoint to waypoint, sweeping the entire field until the entire field was swept for weeds and good and done. This was accomplished by building a neural network with the LatticeMod dataset. Uh, to train our model, we used YOLO. You only look once. YOLO is one of the fastest detection systems and it creates less false positives in the background. Gort tackles the problem of collecting and maintaining sensor data without the need for power or network in each farm block, ultimately reducing the costs while enabling data-driven decisions in agriculture. This device is meant to drive down a row of corn and deflect each stalk out laterally as it goes and measure the force and use that to find stiffness. The hope is that by doing this, we could avoid farmers having to spend time and money waiting for teams of experts to come out to their farm. The tractor is able to gently turn itself to place the yellow line back on top of the blue line, creating a simple proportional controller. Um, so let's go ahead and throw some objects into the frame. So it is still only detecting me, it's not detecting this cup. Also, with this water bottle, it is only detecting me. It combines the state-of-the-art technology and intelligent features to assist farmers in their day-to-day -day operations. With its advanced computer vision and robust design, MEG is ready to tackle any farming challenge. Our goal is to provide spraying technology that is easy to attach onto Amiga and reduce waste utilizing targeted applications. We also offer an easy-to-use application UI where the user can see the updated progress during the spraying, making it easy to keep up to date with how the progress is going. We have designed a project which aims to address the spotted lanternfly issue, which especially impacts farmers since they tend to go for economically important crops like hardwoods, ornamentals, and grapevines. As you can see, there is a claw feature that can grasp the plants. There is a sensor that detects where the plants are and then there are linear actuators and motors that are allowing this claw to move. So our mission is to autonomously deploy IoT sensors for farmers, and this would help regulate soil compositions and therefore increase crop, crop yields. If you open it, there is a lot of sensor dividers through which the sensors will be slotted into. There's an outer ring that will shell all of the sensors in which the sensors can't fall out. Could you go to the corner, like extreme yeah. valors? As close as we can. Yeah. The purpose of this project is to make sure that uh, this robot can complete like uh, hard labor tasks during uh, harder environments for farmers to work in. This is a tank we have mounted on it. It's supposed to spray herbicide. There's a pump and the hose that runs the herbicide all the way around to this nozzle here. There's a little camera right there that detects um, weeds. The Arduino sends a signal to the solenoid operated water control valve over here as well as the spray pump attached over here through a relay. After spraying the weed, the gantry motor drives back the gantry plate and the solenoid operated water control valve to the home position. 